Hello and welcome to a new video review, this time about the long range rifle scope, the Vector Optics Continental 5-30x56. Vector Optics, a well known OEM producer uh, for other companies, was founded in 2007, uh, but in the recent years they started to focus on their own brand and so they introduce the Continental series of rifle scopes, which is the most expensive. Uh, it features the most features and is the only series of rifle scopes uh, with a 34 mm main tube. This scope features a magnification from 5 to 30 with a objective lens diameter of 56 mm. This is the biggest uh, magnification model from the Continental series and is perfectly designed for precision long range shooting. The construction is completely made out of metal with the only rubberized part on the ocular. Then the housing features a 34 mm main tube, locking uh, turrets with a turn indicator. The entire housing is nitrogen perched, which means the internals will not start to fog if you use it in cold environment. It is shockproof uh, all the way up to 338 Lapua Magnum. The length is 393 millimeters, which is a little bit more than some other uh, rifle scopes with the same magnification from other manufacturers but with 850 grams it's more on the light lighter side it is made in china and it has a 15 years warranty the reticle is positioned in the first focal plane there are two uh, options available both have a christmas tree style design the vct reticle which is in this particular scope uh, has a bigger dot in the middle and the MBR has a smaller dot but four lines around uh, the dot. The VCT it is in my opinion a bit more designed if you shoot with the scope also in lower light conditions because the dot in the middle gets illuminated and it's much easier to see. The MBR on the other hand because of the much smaller dot, which is 0.03 of a mil, uh, is much more designed for very precise shots on longer ranges. The illumination has six intensity settings. All are uh, only useful for lower light. Between each setting is an off position. On the same turret you also get a parallax adjustment which goes from 10 yards all the way to infinity up to about 100 or 200 meters or yards. The parallax adjustment is very precise um, because you have much space between. After about 300 meters or yards the parallax um, is a little bit more difficult to adjust because you have to make really small adjustments for the perfect setting. Then the turrets. Both turrets feature a locking mechanism with a push and pull design. The elevation turret features exactly 10 milliradians uh, of elevation per revolution. Uh, when you come to the second revolution, a small pin pops out, which is a mechanical and, and visual turn indicator. This feature can mostly be found only on much more expensive rifle scopes. The total elevation range of this scope 
is 26 mil but with this turret you can get uh, 20 mils. Then another nice feature of this scope is the zero stop, which is really nice. It stop, it stops exactly at zero. There are no clicks below zero and it is very easy to adjust. For the zero stop, you just make the adjustment when you're on the range, lock the turret, then you screw outside this middle part. When you turn the turret uh, around, there is a screw, a big screw in the turret. It's around this middle part. Then you turn it uh, clockwise then, until it makes a click. You turn uh, the turret uh, with zero uh, back on the rifle scope, screw this middle part inside and you are already zeroed and ready to go. The vintage turret has a total travel range of 16 mil and you get marks up to 5 mil into both directions. If you need, you can go even further. I didn't mention the clicks on this scope, uh, which are extremely good. They are very tactile, have a really nice feel to it and you can feel every click. Optically, it is a very, very good scope. It can be compared to some much more expensive rifle scopes. The Light transmission rate is more than 90%. The scope has no tunneling effect. And what's also special about this scope, especially for this price range of about 1000 euro, is the extremely big field of view. Also, the field of view can be compared to some much more expensive rifle scopes. Then the eye relief with 10 centimeters is also a nice feature and the eye box is also very good it's it can be it is very easy to shoot with the scope uh, on the entire magnification range so what's in the box a user's manual lens protection a sunshade a cleaning cloth some advertising material, an additional elevation turret, which does not feature a zero stop and no turn indicator. Uh, with this turret, you can use the entire elevation range of the scope, which is 26 mil. Then the zeroing tool, a warranty card, which uh, can be used for registering of your product. And what's really special about Victor Optics that they include uh, mounting rings for mounting on a Picatinny rail with a height of 18 millimeters. And now for a short summary. What do I like about this scope? First of all, the great overall build quality. All the parts are really nicely made, well machined, with a nice finish. Uh, then the turrets. I really like these turrets because first of all the clicks. They are really nice, positive with a good feel of them. Locking mechanism, turn indicator. Both of these features can mostly be found only on more expensive rifle scopes. Then the optical quality, which is really, really good, especially for this price, you get a really big field of view, which is on the lowest setting on five times magnification, 8.2 meters, and at 30 magnification, 1.4 meters at 100 meters. Then 
two well-designed reticles which are very useful for quick follow-up shots. The entire scope is also very lightweight with only 850 grams. The zeroing of the turret is very easy and what, uh, what is also very special this included mounting rings so most of the users won't need to purchase additional mounts. Why do I think most of the users? Because some users which shoot subsonic ammunition or normal let's say calibers on extended long-range uh, targets will need a monoblock mount with a 20 MOA inclination. Why? Because this scope has, um, let's say, not enough elevation for extended long range or long range with a subsonic ammunition. Because with normal rings, you zero the scope pretty much in the middle of the elevation range. This means only around 13 mil uh, would be left for um, bullet drop compensations. Where else do I see some room for improvements? First of all, the wobbling turrets. It's not a big issue, but I think it's an easy fix for vector optics. Then on the magnification ring, these edges are a bit sharp. This is great for grip, but I think in my opinion, they are a little bit too sharp. Next, the elevation range. Compared to rifle scopes from other manufacturers with a similar magnification, this rifle scope has some of the smallest uh, elevation ranges. Uh, especially if you mount it with the included rings, you are left with around 13 mils of elevation. Like I said before, if you shoot extended long ranges or subsonic ammunition, you are pretty quickly out of the elevation range. Then the entire length of the scope with almost 40 centimeters, these are one of the longest uh, rifle scopes compared to similar magnification rifle scopes from other brands. And lastly, instead of bikini covers, uh, I would prefer flip up covers. Okay, this was a short video review about the Vector Optics Continental 5 to 30 by 56. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have some additional questions, please click the link below. Thanks for watching.